Oh, miss it. Now, before we talk to uh, my next guest, I'd just like to have another look at that little bit of VT we showed just before. Can we run it again? Just have a little look and to make sure while uh, we're doing that, let me tell you about him as well. Here we go. Bar the odd reunion gig. You officially left. Oh, that's not what I'm going to do, is it? This bit here, right? OK. Thank you very much indeed. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest was guitarist with Punk Pioneers, The Damned. I wonder whether we were in there. Or the... There was a naughty bit of him showing there. There was definitely a naughty bit on that. Um, he was with The Damned for eight years, uh, before topping the charts with his own right, or in his own right, with a, a little ditty called Happy Talk, and you can all hum that at home now, uh, from the musical South Pacific, really. Uh, currently, hello, currently touring with the Space Toad Experience, and with a new album of his own soon to come out, please clear your throats and give up a real bucket of your best spit for the Crown Prince of Punk, Abandoned Ship. It is Captain Sensible! Go, Captain, go! Where is it? I told you, tonight's show, I, I told you, listen, they may, they may all try to copy this show, but tonight's... Thank God you didn't pick this up. Thank God you didn't pick this up. Sent in to us by a viewer who said, could you pass it on to Esther? Uh, <laughs> Baz, be quiet. I, uh, anyway, fine. Uh, Captain, it's, it is uh, an honour. You have no idea it's an honour. Do you regret Happy Talk or not? Yeah, I do. It's an absolute... <laughs> it's a, well, well, the, the amazing thing about Happy Talk was uh, I, I'd finished the album for A&M and I was completely conned by them uh, in so much as I'd produced a, a record that they'd signed me. They'd given me, the, given me the dosh and everything and I'd gone back home with, you know, the money and the pictures were in the papers and everything, all this stuff. And, they, and I, I did one cover version at the end of it, which was, which was Happy Talk, to make up the numbers and make up the time on the record. And when they heard it, they thought, oh, you know, bung this out, sort of, blah, 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 all this stuff. And I said, no, absolutely, you know, it's not one of my tunes and, and all this. And they said, oh, somebody from EMI has, uh, has done a version of this. So, uh, you know, so they said, well, if, unless you release it now, they'll sort of beat us. Sort of thing. So, so you went with it because it was lots of so dosh. It, yeah, and um, <laughs> it was an absolute con because nobody from EMI had any... any <laughs> what did yeah. he... What did you think when you went right to the top of the charts, on top of the pops with Happy Talk, and then when you were playing with the Damned, they booed when you played it? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it was kind of. Um, but the thing, the funny thing about the Damned was, I mean, I always wanted to be a kind of mm. a, a pop star type person because uh, not being the most handsome person in the world, I, I was a. Oh, oh uh, no! It was, it no. Was my, you know, it is like sort of, you know, a good good way of like sort of uh, uh, chatting up sort of um, yeah. stuff like that. And, uh, was and a lot of things, was the groupie situation good at that time? Tragic. Oh, wow. Tragic. Yeah. Well, the thing was, uh, in the, with the damned, I mean, all you got were these, were these sort of ugly blokes with Mohicans and clanking <laughs> chains and stuff. And, uh, and you come out of the, the backstage door and it, it wouldn't be kind of, Captain, you're gorgeous, can, you, would you, can I come back to your hotel room or anything? It was like, <laughs> you're a rubbish tonight, since we're absolute rubbish, you know, and gobbing in your face and stuff. Now, I, I mentioned the gobbing as you came on. I mean, 
th th you feel quite strongly that this spitting is, is, is a sociable sort of a comment, isn't it, on musicians and music of the time? Well, it was, it was kind of the great leveller in, in a way, I suppose. Uh, in so, in so much, I mean, before then, it, was, it seemed as though you had to have a degree in music or something yeah. to, be, to be in a band. And it's why I, th I, I started in, in showbiz anyway. I mean, horrible expression, but... Um, I mean, most of the bands before then were sort of, you know, like sort of Emerson, Lake and Palmer and Yes and Genesis and all this garbage that was going up his own bum, doing absolutely nothing. And, 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 and you could go on stage in a band, or anyone could go on a stage, mm. and, and, you know, you get a bit of gob and everything, but, you know, it's one of, it's <laughs> now, one, it's one you of those used things. To play, you were the same as the audience. You used to play naked quite often. Yeah, well, did yeah. Did you worry about that or not? I mean, next no, week I've got somebody all, playing naked. We're all the but... same underneath, you know, yeah. uniforms. The, the problem with the world is everyone wears uniforms. You know, the, the police. If the policemen went around naked, you know, you wouldn't no, know nobody what would... rank they were. Nobody. Yes. Would... Yeah. <laughs> what, who's Hello. This? Oh, good. Go bless you. <laughs> Thank oh, you very much. Some of that right, fine. Uh, anyway, listen. <laughs> just fine. Uh, I didn't know you had so many fans all over the place. <laughs> did um, did you actually? enjoy smashing there was a lot of stories about you smashing up hotels in fact your fans used to ask you to go and do it as a mark of respect yeah um <laughs> that's, uh, funny funny enough that's, that's true uh, people, I, I was in a hotel uh, somewhere or other in, in america and um th this bunch of people sort of knocked on knocked on my door and said uh, here's the keys to our room uh, go and wreck it and um <laughs> They absolutely trashed this place. A sink out of the wall and like the bed that torched the bed, everything went uh, TV out the window. Do not do this, right? This and, is, um, you don't do it and say yeah. I said you could, right. And they said, well, don't worry, we're gonna pay for it. They disappeared before um, <laughs> before now, ten. We gotta because we'll, I'd like to talk to you about the damned all the time and you want to talk about your new stuff, which we'll do in a couple of seconds. Last question about the damned though. Well, he's painting over there. Uh, last question about the damned is that I was reuniting myself with some of the music when I heard you were going to come on the show. And I don't think people realise how good, how e e exceptionally musical some of the damned numbers were. Hmm. Well, we, we, we did used to experiment as much as we, as we possibly could. I mean, after we did that first classic al da album, Damn, Damn, Damned, I mean, uh, to, to repeat it would have been stupid, I think. So uh, You won't ever bring them back? The, the damned? Yeah, I, I know they're going right. You won't ever get back with them and... Oh, I'd, I'd love to. I think they're out. I think there's two versions out on tour at the moment. You know, but but um, there's four versions of the suite out. <laughs> what are you? What are you? Listen, because I'm running out of time. You're playing with the uh, Space Toad Experience, but you've also got your own album coming out. Yeah, I mean, I I I I, I make records. You know, that not not a lot of people buy them. You know, blah blah blah. But you know, I just I just need. I, I eat lentils and I'm sort of a peace and love merchant, and, and I brew my own beer. So I haven't got an expensive lifestyle. You know. So, well, uh, perhaps, as long as will you come back and play something for us on another show? Yes, yeah, you sure? Will you do that? Because I know you'd like to get in with the space, um, the, uh, the the apes, pigs, and spacemen, and it's very, very difficult to remember all these names. It's a good show, isn't it? You enjoy it's this because we run out of time now. I wanted to, I wanted to know about you and Sid Vicious, but uh, oh, right. we don't have time at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, for the moment, Captain Sensible. <laughs> Can we have a little bit to play us out? Yeah. Maybe can we get Captain back in somewhere? He was, he was, he was somewhere. Uh, we'll see you next week. Got a great show next week. Let's turn the. Where's Captain's gun? Has oh, Captain? Do you want to? You, can you plug in over there? Oh yeah. I thought this is okay. Um, just a little impromptu jam session before we leave you. Okay. A one, two, three, four. Oh.